Hi, everybody. Hello, Philadelphia. How are you doing? This evening, we have with us a young lady named Lisa. Hi, everybody. Good evening, Lisa. Let me ask you, you know, let me start out by asking you, how did you get started in show business? Well, when I was six years old, my mom... <laughs> Well, um, when I was six, I got run over. <laughs> well, to make a long story short, when I was six, I got hit by a truck. And the truck driver was, he was a producer of a TV series called, called, <laughs> He really didn't have the name yet, but um, he was starting a show, and he got to know my family and everything were well, so when he got to me, he saw that I could act, he saw my acting abilities, and I was not shy or anything, so he put me in his first series, and he named it <laughs> Lisa Cross the Sidewalk. Let me ask you, do you think the uh, world television and, and entertainment is a hard business to get into or relatively simple? Oh, it's very hard. It's very hard. It's not what you know, it's who you know. Look right into this camera and I want you to tell many, many aspiring entertainers advice. Okay. One thing I'd like to start off by saying is hold fast, hold on to your dream. Um, if something fails, if you go out for an audition or something like that and you don't get it, don't let that stop you. Just keep on. Step, step back up, stand back up, and try again. And you keep trying, you keep trying. And once you get your foot halfway in the door, that's your doorway. That's the opening. First thing, key to success. I don't even remember if it was the first tour or the second one. It might have been the first tour. Lisa told you that, didn't she? <laughs> TLC's hairdresser was a female. Our hairstylist was a female. Wardrobe, female. Pebbles, female. The two girls that worked in Pebbles' office, female. I mean, you know, it's some woman stuff going on around here. So we just, TLC being silly and creative at the same time. Whenever a man would come in the room, we had, this, had to let everybody know. <sighs> Ooh. Penis in the room, penis. <laughs> penis in the room, penis in the room. <laughs> we would lock them in the room and go, penis in the room or penis on the bus. With so many women around, I mean, you tend to talk about things that you don't necessarily want to talk about when a man is in the room. You start swapping advice and <laughs> talking about your love lives and your boyfriends and stuff. We would announce penis in the room. And all the girls, like our dancers, they were a winch mob at the time, would grab the guy and just hold him down and, you know, just harass him. It, it sounds horrible, but it was all in fun. It was so funny. Don't mess with us. We will get you. We will get you. Penis in the room. <laughs> Mm. Missing you, Woo! wishing you will always be mine, oh my. Kissing you like candy while I listen to your sweet reply. Is that good or not? Woo! We got a crush on you and don't know what to do, so should I continue? Can you stop like the cops in a hot pursuit? Blah. Thank <laughs> you. 
Hmm. It's all in my head. Yeah, that's what we said. I ought to be listening to no one instead. My thoughts being with precision, just like infrared. Then I sought out my vision and found poison lead. Is that my dear friend? Count to ten, Mina. Add it again. Live if you want. Die if you choose. Laugh if you will. Cause these are the rules. Oh, y'all don't know Nina? My evil twin. Who came from within? Who my blame on my sins? Born. Yeah, it's on like the gas in my stove with no pipes. Just waiting for me to come light it. Woo. Hypnotized by the flames. Bound by the locks and the chains. I see smoke in my mirrors if it don't get any clearer. In due time, we gon' find who's superior. Oh. When we lived with my dad, he was a drill sergeant, for real. He used to have us every morning. We got we had to get up at six. He used to come in, he used to come through the room. <laughs> get up, get up, don't let your head touch the pillow. Oh wait! <laughs> and be like, don't let your head touch the pillow. So we was literally lit I know I was. I was literally every morning like this. Look at that. Every morning I was like this. That's what he said, you know. Yeah. You know, he was like, don't let your head touch the pillow. Get up, go <laughs> <don't> let your <laughs> head touch <laughs> Sorry, get up. Six oh. o'clock. Every 15 minutes, we rotated. Every 15, on the dot. Every 15 minutes was what? clockwork. It was so tight, though. It was Man. like six o'clock. I had to go start washing up. Raina started getting her clothes ready. Ronald started doing something. Mm -hmm. Rotate. You know, I come out, get dressed, yeah. ready to go in the bathroom, Ron start getting his clothes yeah. ready. Rotate. I go downstairs, make breakfast, ready to go in the room, get dressed, Ronald go in the bathroom. Rotate. Damn. I start making a lunch, ready to come downstairs, Ronald. Rotate. 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 Yeah, and then at, at <laughs> 7 30, we'll be done. Lunch is packed. Everybody dressed, sitting on the couch. We didn't have to leave till 8 o'clock. Are we sitting up on the couch a whole half an hour? Like, what's wrong with daddy? I was like, can we get up a half an hour late? <laughs> you need time to think. <laughs> think. You need think. time to think. What? Oh, wow. Okay. Think. I didn't even know what I was thinking about. My name is Raindrop Lopez. It's spelled R-E-I-G-N-D-R-O-P. Lopez, with an S. I can't not stay original and unique. I rap, mm -hmm. but I do rock music, and all my stuff is performed live with a live band. I don't okay. rap over a track. Okay. So I labeled it hip rock, hip from the hip hop side, which is mm -hmm. the rapping and rock because I do the rock. I actually just got with a new team a couple weeks ago and um, we just started rebuilding my project and we're, I go back in the studio next week to actually finish up my album. Raindrop Lopez, hip rock, coming to you in a minute. Check it. I remember it just like it was yesterday. Only seven, and then the first phrase you see. It was on the phone. Don't ask me who it was. Somebody came all up in my face. He took a vacuum cleaner pipe. Yeah. When those vacuum cleaners, you know, yeah, he started to start busting your windows. And he started busting out all my windows in my car because I had set the fire in the bathroom. And when I seen him do that, I was like, I know you <laughs> then why you had to go do that? So I picked up the pipe, one swing, crack, bashed the windshield in Andre's Mercedes. One swing, crack, bashed the windshield in his other car. Dang. One crack. <laughs> <laughs> Get back up, went back to the other one. Man. <laughs> but we're in the middle of doing all of this stuff. It's like we all stopped at once in unison. It's like we all stopped what we was doing and we looked up. 
this black smoke just rolling, just rolling from under the. This is It was like, wow. Tupac, what did he mean to me? It was a little weird being in the presence of Tupac, and um, we're very similar. Similar to the point where we almost clashed. Both Geminis, and it was almost like four people being in a room. <laughs> you know, and um, uh, I don't know if this has any significance, but um, I was born on an odd day, the 27th, and he was born on the 16th, which equals to seven an odd day, and we were odd. It was very odd when we were together. I got a chance to go to his house um, a few months before he passed on, and um, it was weird. It was a very weird experience because everything that was in my cabinets was in his cabinets. Um, It's, it's down to the seasonings in the kitchen, you know, the types of food that we ate, the pot set, the chairs that we sat in. I look at the way his life um, was, and I don't know, I, I see a lot of that in me.